All right, here's a fun one. Let's talk about proportions and seesaws. For a seesaw to stay perfectly balanced, the weight on the left side and the distance on the left side, WL, DL, uh, of a person on the left must have the same product as the weight and distance, WR, WD, of the person on the right. A diagram is shown to help illustrate this relationship. So the weight and distance of the person on the left from the center needs to equal when you multiply it, the weight and the distance of the person on the right multiplied. So a 200 pound person, 10 feet from the center, again, it's not to scale, like drawn to scale. Hey, we're talking about a scale and it's not drawn to scale, how dare I? A 200 pound person, 10 feet away, should balance with a 20 foot away, 100 pound person. Why? Because when you multiply that, you get 2,000. 2,000 equals 2,000, all right? So we have a math problem, students. Mr. K weighs 240 pounds and is 97 inches from the center. So you can put me on the left, I don't care. How far would a 180 pound person have to be for the seesaw to balance with Mr. K? Okay, so take my weight. So Mr. K's weight, 240 times my distance. That has to equal the other person's weight, which is 180 times their distance. There we go. It's actually kind of easy. So I'm going to divide both sides by 180. Goodbye. So there we go. Let's do some multiplications. 240 pound, Mr. K. Go away. Cleared out. 240 pound, Mr. K times 97 divided by 180. Boom. Okay. They need to be 129.3 repeating inches. Yeah, my distance was in inches, so their distance is in inches. So <gasps> to the nearest inch, 129. All right, now, oh no, I gotta convert that to feet in inches. 129, that's actually kind of easy. That's 120 and nine. If I divide you by 12, you're 10 feet, and then you're nine inches. So that's mental math, right? Without mental math, oh look, there's my 10 feet. And then I subtract the 10 feet. I've got that many feet left over, but if I take it times 12 again, I get back to inches. So you divide by inches to get the feet, subtract the whole feet, and then take the decimal times 12 again to go back into inches. But I already used mental math. So 10 foot, nine inches. That's how far away a 180 pound person would have to be to balance with me. Separate question. Sorry about the spacing, I apologize. How much weight do you need to balance the seesaw with Mr. K and be six feet away from the center. Okay, so same numbers for me. 240 times 97 equals, um, we have a distance of six feet. Now you probably wanna change that to inches. Okay, so I'm gonna go six feet times 12 times the unknown weight. Okay, so let's divide the six times 12. What is six times 12? I think it's a number. Hey, the number 72. So if I divide both sides by 72, should get the weight that the person needs. Here we go. 240 times 97 divided by, what was it again? It was 72. All right, ooh, 323.3 pounds. What does it say, nearest tenth? They need to be 323 pounds and a .3. There you go, .3 opinion is just gonna be a .3. All right, cool. That is the unstoppable Stallone with seesaws. All right, so it's actually pretty easy. The only tricky part is gonna be, again, converting the total inches to feet and inches, and then feet and inches again. So this is more of a foot inch problem than anything else. So otherwise, make your proportion accurately. You can put me on the left, you can put me on the right, I don't care. Set up your proportion and then do your math. All right, that's it for this one.